My pregnant girlfriend 26 is refusing to discuss to me 29M her spending 8K on a bird. I'd like to preface with the fact that I love her and try my hardest to have empathy towards her. But the things she says are so cold that I'm not sure if I'm able to continue. But all at the same time I'm not sure if I'm being too sensitive and taking everything too personally. When we found out she was pregnant we were so insanely excited. She had assumed that she would never be able to, due to medical issues. So before this she would home exotic animals and such. At the moment she has eight tarantulas, two snakes, two leopard geckos, one bearded dragon, one pitbull and an Indian ringneck. On top of this she is making payments on a six-month scarlet macaw. The pet shop is charging her 8,000 and weaning her. Currently she's paid 2,000 for it. After learning she was pregnant I had assumed she would stop making payments and stop visiting the bird. However, she's formed a connection with her and does not plan on stopping. I knew this would be a touchy subject, so I asked work friends for advice. They told me to approach it with empathy and care. So, I took her to dinner to talk about the baby and plan for the future. We thrifted for baby clothes and I decided not to bring it up until she got a message from a friend. She read it and asked if I'd like to visit the macaw at the pet shop. I agreed to go and I felt like maybe this was when she would talk to me about it. Instead she made the decision on her own to keep the macaw. And I admittedly got upset and with no tact suggested that she didn't continue payments. This started an argument. One that made me realize that there was no way I could change her mind. This scared me because this isn't the only time I've had to basically just accept what she wanted with no say in the matter. Eventually, I apologized and asked her to think about it. She agreed to think about it and acknowledged my concerns were valid. I have Crohn's disease and it flares up with stress. I've been on three infusions and finally went into remission but with permanent surgical issues and pain. She owes 5,000 in taxes because of a job that isn't exactly reliable. She is a caretaker and works for the state. She is also still paying off her car. Macaws need a lot of attention. This one still hasn't hit puberty and from what I read they can get aggressive if they aren't getting the right amount of attention. Macaws emit a powder that can be harmful to our baby's lungs. I'm afraid that there could be an accident. The reason I say that is because there has already been one with our dog and the ring neck. Bugs have also gotten out of enclosures and unfortunately some of her animals have died due to what I believe was lack of care. Macaws are loud and I find it impossible to believe it won't be loud when we finally get our baby to sleep and even vice versa. If possible I was going to use the GI Bill to take a couple online classes to make some extra money. With a new baby and a full-time job that would be hard. Adding a macaw to the mix would make it harder. Fast forward to today and she made a decision but made that decision without talking to me. Admittedly I knew she wouldn't budge but again, what scares me is the lack of communication. I ended up calling her selfish and things blew up. She told me that she did not want to be with me and would rather be single and co-parent. Remember that message that prompted her to go to the pet store? Apparently her friend told her that it's possible to raise both the macaw and baby. Ironically that person got rid of their macaw because it was aggressive towards their child and he's regretted it since. That blew my mind that it was all she needed to hear for her to disregard anything I was concerned about. It wasn't the first time but today I was called a sensitive bitch, told to get the fuck out of her life, mocked anytime I said anything and so on. She just asked me the other day to find a way out of my lease so I could help her out more with money. She planned on us getting a bigger home. One where the bird and baby could have their own separate rooms because right now there's only a bird room. After our argument today all I asked for was an apology for the name calling. She couldn't do that for me and on top of it all I cannot voice any more concerns about the macaw. It will just be a new addition and I have no say. I'm asking for advice. Any kind of advice. Whatever you guys can give me. Please. Too long did not read. Girlfriend wants to buy an $8,000 macaw and is pregnant with no real plan and I have to just accept it. Edit. I also asked her today if she would try counseling with me. She refused the idea and suggested I do it alone. I also asked her to at least get her mom's advice. She told her everything except the fact she still has to pay 6000 When asked why she didn't tell her, she said it was because the money shouldn't matter. So basically her mom said she would babysit the macaw when we need a break. Edit number 2. The worst part is, if she would just talk to me as a partner and explain it to me all while acknowledging my concerns. 
I'd be open to this more. I just want to feel like my concerns were at least considered and I want to know things like this won't be the norm. Update. Today she lashed out on me so I had to leave work. Luckily my boss understood. She told me last night she felt alone because I didn't cuddle her or kiss her. I explained that it was because of the things she said and it was hard so she said, boohoo I called you names, and that I need to get over it. So I went to her place, apologized and took her to get breakfast. I cleaned up the house and made her bed for her to nap. I left and went to my place. I'm currently just waiting for a sign or something. If I stay, I have to accept this lifestyle and to be fair I knew it was the way she was. I'm going to try my hardest at this moment to really step it up and just accept this all as fact. I cannot help but be upset though. From my experience the pet shop would stop all payments if they knew an issue would prevent the buyer from taking care of the bird fully. It's either that or that's just the facade they put up. She even asked the owner for their advice and they said, it will definitely be challenging but you can do it, everyone keeps telling her that. It feels like I'm the only one against this. But after this post I can at least see I'm not crazy. She also insists that her friends will help. If it becomes too much they will take the macaw for a couple of months and give us a break. A work friend suggested that it could be because they see it as an opportunity to create a bond and eventually take the bird. But what worries me is the stress it will create for the bird thus making it have worse behaviors than before. At that point we may have a toddler that wants to explore and gets into her space. Every time I express a concern like that she simply says, well you don't have to be with me, I was raised without a father and I turned out fine, you can already guess how fucking scared that makes me. Positive note, Reddit has restored my faith in humanity. You guys are so insanely supportive and give great advice. I'm glad I'm not crazy and blowing this up. With that being said, I don't want any of you to worry about my baby. They will have a loving father that will always have their back and be there for them. I'll lead them in the right direction and show them how proud of them I am of them when they start accomplishing great things. I'm fucking tearing up because I just want my baby to be happy and it sounds silly that a bird has been such an issue. Thank all of you so much. I'll get downvoted for this, but have you considered the bigger issues? For example, the fact that you are convinced other pets of hers have died from neglect should scare the hell out of you if you're having a baby. You also should be terrified that it seems she's relatively careless with making sure all the animals are appropriately separated and supervised. Could any of her animals cause harm to your baby and are any aggressive if she fails to supervise them? Lastly, the fact she is pregnant, struggling to afford basics like a car and taxes, but is obsessed with spending that much money on a bird and kicks you out on a whim and refuses therapy should be alarming to you because it seems like her moods and actions are unpredictable, and likely goes beyond hormones. This is beyond scope of Reddit man, therapy from a well-referred marriage counselor is what is needed. I hate to say it but also start documenting everything to cover your own ass. Pregnancy causes all kinds of stuff and can trigger on sets of mental issues temporary to permanent. You said this behavior isnt new, but I've got to ask in the heat of the moment what did you say to her? There are two sides to every story and you admitted you went off on her. You both need help with this relationship but you need to prep now if you're not willing to deal with her pregnant mental state because postpartum is way worse, and court custody hearings are a nightmare for men. I am not even saying prep to fight for primary or residential just 50-50. Best of luck and I hope you guys make it. If she won't listen or respect your opinion now, she isn't likely to start. She's delusional to think she can manage all her pets, including a high-maintenance macaw, with a newborn baby. Perhaps start drafting legal custody documents now, get her to sign so she realizes how seriously concerned you are and what the consequences of her decisions will be. She's essentially choosing a bird over her immediate family. Good luck. Your girlfriend doesn't care about you, or the baby really, considering the bird sounds harmful in many different ways for an infant, has made that very clear, refuses therapy, and is telling you to co-parent. So what is the question here? Do you want to be up 24-7 with an irritated baby that can't sleep because of a bird mommy delusionally loves more than her child, or would you rather have your own place where your child can sleep peacefully during visitation and let the girlfriend deal with the bird issue alone? You're wasting your life waiting on some girl who doesn't love you or respect you. Co-parent and find a romantic partner who is actually interested in sharing a life with you and wants a healthy relationship. Leave her, she's nuts.
Go for full custody or co-parent, but don't help her any more than you should. She sounds horrible. Just make sure your kid is taken care of. Call her on her bluff. Move out. Get a lawyer explain everything you did here and that you fear for your child's safety in her care and wish to seek primary custody once he, she is born. Since you ignored all the red flags at the beginning of your relationship and still managed to get this woman pregnant, I'll be blunt. Do not marry this woman, you are borderline foolish to even play with the ideal. I won't give you crap about dating her as you have enough going on. But dude get some papers signed now and get out while you can, this is your window. You fucked up by getting her pregnant, you have to accept it and move on. Leave now, run man run. Grab your PS5 and get out. The baby is coming you can't fight it, but you can get out. Edit take care of the baby of course, but it is time to get the ground running, go stay with your mom or something. Dip, dip potato chip. She's nesting. Sorry. Couldn't help myself. I'm scared for this baby, you guys are literally thousands in debt partially over a bird, and can't agree about any of it. The baby should be the first priority and it seems like it's the last one. As a veterinarian and a mother I think I am qualified to say that you absolutely cannot have a human baby and a young macaw in the same house and expect to take good care of them both. I have considered getting some sort of parrot at some point but only an older one after the kids have left the house. Your girlfriend can't afford this bird. She can't even afford the taxes she owes. On top of that, she sounds like a selfish human being. Get a lawyer to work out custody. Preferably a custody agreement where you get primary custody. I honestly am of the opinion that you two are not going to be able to make this work. She's shown she has absolutely no respect for you as a partner in this relationship. She doesn't value your opinion, she doesn't value your input on important matters for long-term issues, and she doesn't value your judgment. You're just there as a buffer, it sounds like. She talks down to you, and makes large financial decisions without you, and is not moving forward with the child's best interest at heart. Leave, and look to get custody. If she's dead set on keeping the bird, it's not going to be the safest place for an infant. Source. As someone who's dealt with large birds before. She's very selfish and immature. Maybe get her obstetrician to point out the dangers the bird will present to the baby. I'm saving this post for when it inevitably ends up in the news. As a new parent in a marriage that is full of love and understanding, things get very tough very quickly when a newborn arrive. It takes a strong bond and a lot of patience and understanding. This is a huge red flag you have here my friend. Things will get only worse from here when you add the stress, emotional and physical drain that coma with a child, run. CO parent for your own and your child's sake. She sounds super abusive. Financially and emotionally, you should actually leave. Monzi aside, getting a bird of that size is literally the worst possible decision she could make right now. I have a bird myself so I can verify this information. They are wonderful pets but require lots of time and attention and they are not kid friendly. A bird this size could literally bite a little kid's finger off if it wanted to. These bird are incredibly loud, say goodbye to ever getting sleep again. Between the bird waking the baby up or the bird waking you up in the few minutes of sleep you manage to get. Why on earth do she want to make both of your lives even harder during an already incredibly stressful time? She needs to just kiss her $2000 goodbye and focus on the baby. I do not envy the position you are in, at all. My advice is maybe try to deter her with information, instead of just calling out how stupid of an idea this is. Read up on scarlet macaws temperaments and their needs. While they are beautiful, they are one of the nastier macaw species. Suggest that she hold off on this species and you guys can find one more suited to to your family in the future. Preferably when your child is a bit older, cause she will burn out trying to care for an actual infant and an animal as needy as one. Communication is one of the pillars that holds the relationship up. If she is this bad with communicating with you, the relationship is not going to last. The fact that you brought up counseling and she not only refused but made you believe you're the one that needed coozling, that is a red flag. A burning red flag. Being hormonal during pregnancy is not an excuse. Talk, secretly, do not threaten or alarm her, to an experienced family, custody attorney because you might need legal advice on how to proceed. This is no safe environment for a baby and you know it. Document everything and be prepared to step up for the welfare of the child. I would take your GF suggestion and go to counseling alone. 
Reddit isn't the right place to try to sort this out. I will say a couple is usually wiped out from taking care of a baby. I can't imagine doing it with such a huge menagerie also needing attention and care. Sorry dude. Time to pull the plug. Make sure you be the one to dump her. It might shock her to reality. If not get a lawyer. Try to get at least 50-50 custody if not more, or just resign yourself to child support for the next 18 years. Based on her completely stupid money management decisions you're better off in the long run just paying child support. This woman has undiagnosed mental problems bro. Op no one can help her if she doesn't want to be help. Cut your lose and prepare for co-parenting to her you're the problem getting rid of you is the easiest way out she no wife or even a mum material try for full custody if possible sadly felt her pet or her child not the baby. Take care. Exotic pets is a rabbit hole and is one of those hobbies that can really get out of control. I'm not shaming anyone here for those hobbies but I know people who collect exotic animals to the extent that it is an addiction and is also very creepy. This is a complicated issue and I am not going to pretend like I know shit. All I know is that you're having a baby a real life human being. And it will be exhausting. WTF $6,000 for a fucking bird, you said she had her previous pets die from neglecting them. So in my opinion she is unstable and it might be time to leave and never return. Dude. Stop trying to logic with an animal hoarder. Look. You chose to have a baby with someone who puts her impulses ahead of her partner. This is not sustainable. It's time to create an exit plan. Talk to a lawyer now and figure out your rights and obligations. Because you will end up separating. Go to the therapist alone and work out why the hell you put up with this crazy. Find a safe housing option for you and your child. And then wait. For the inevitable reality of neglect for the animals or the baby. Or both. You are not being too sensitive. You're just trying to look out for your unborn child the well-being of her exotic animals, and her financial situation. She is being selfish and neglectful. She has no regard for your opinions or feelings. You are pretty much a sperm donor to her in a backup ATM. Also, with all the other animals she has and how much she's already paying for she is definitely not fit to be a single parent. If this is going to be her first child she is supposed to make the baby's well-being her top priority. Social services would be called on her before the child would be born. Don't help her anymore if she wants to treat you like crap while draining you dry and endanger the baby. Once the baby is born, fight for primary full custody. Usually when the baby is born the mother will shift all priorities to the baby. That makes you the new zookeeper I suppose. I will say I have Crohn's as well. Birds need to be disease screened. You can get some of those diseases and illnesses and intestinal parasites. You are immune compromised. Also the baby can get sick too. So there's so many health concerns. Man stand on what you say if you don't want the bird and it's not financially smart and it's a health risk for your kid. Tell her that's that. You don't have to stress yourself either man life's way too short to be literally killing yourself. At this point you need to just enjoy life and don't let anyone mess up your inner peace. Your kid will appreciate it. Plus it sounds like she has no respect for you. Oh yeah definitely get some professional help. I have owned large birds, umbrella cockatoos, for years. These breeds are extremely intelligent and need proper stimulation to avoid the bad behaviors such as screaming and feather plucking. Also expect to find bird shit everywhere. It breaks my heart that people buy these animals on a whim without understanding the amount of work involved. I wish you luck. LMAO. Sorry all I can do is wonder if your girlfriend is Dina from Superstore. Macaws require a lot of attention because of their high intelligence, and are basically another child. You cannot just leave them to their own devices if they aren't in a large aviary with other macaws. Their intelligence must be stimulated or they will become bored. There is no way she will be able to care for these animals with a baby toddler child. Besides, she should be using that 8K for the future needs of the kid. Very irresponsible and not very bright. If I were you, I would flat tell her that she's financially irresponsible. And with that in mind I will not be buying a house with her, or moving in with her because I do not want my finances tied to hers. She's having a baby, and buying an $8,000 bird that she cannot afford. She's being irresponsible and immature and her priorities are all wrong with a baby on the way. Full stop. This isn't about her feelings, your feelings etc. This is about being smart, and responsible parents now. She needs to get on board with treating you right and being responsible. 
Otherwise tell her that you hope she enjoys being a single parent, you'll be a single parent because you're not going to live with her. This scared me because this isn't the only time I've had to basically just accept what she wanted with no say in the matter. If she can bulldoze right over you, a grown adult, and allow you no say in the matter, how do you think she'll behave when she interacts with a child? She is not magically going to be kind and patient to one. Unfortunately some of her animals have died due to what I believe was lack of care. The child won't be the magical exception to this either. Document how she takes care of her pets and fight for custody of you child. She is not in the proper mental or financial state to raise a child. She is also verbally and emotionally abusive. Get some therapy. Grief therapy saved my life when my mom passed but you know what also helped, my boyfriend pushing me to go. You and your child and her pets deserve better. Good luck. Sounds like a pet hoarding issue. Separate and be your child's only stable parent. Your child will need you. Mechanical translation. Did you think what would happen if a parrot made a logical chain out of a baby's cry equals food attention and simulated a baby's cries? How will the guardianship authorities and neighbors react to the constant cries? Macaws have an extremely strong bite. They can snap a pencil in half easily. Oh gosh don't move an inch further without getting couples counseling. She sounds manic, in the clinical way. Adopting animals, spending lots of money inappropriately, owing money. Nope. She treats you terribly and is a bad partner. Please get couples therapy and don't move an inch on marriage until she agrees. Also, stop giving her money. You 100% knocked up a horrible person. The future is not looking bright for you. Every decision you make that isn't breaking up with this pos is a bad decision. If you don't break up with her she'll walk all over you until the end of your days. Good luck. You'll need it. Everything I'm reading says you need to get yourself out and then go for custody of the kid to keep it away from the pet mess and threat of the macaw. But yeah, for your sake, please do not accept this as your lot in life. Please please please, that sounds like it would be a miserable existence. Wish you luck mate. Equals. You simply cannot make solo decisions when you are going to be in a couple intimate relationship. It affects to many things. If you have money to burn that is one thing. Holy fuck. Leave her. If she's like this now. When the child is born she will get much worse. The animals are her kids you are the pet. One by the looks of it can easily dispose of. Get your ducks in a row. Talk to a divorce lawyer. And prepare for war. Don't compound one mistake with another. The odds of you having a successful marriage with this girl are below zero. You can still be a great dad without her.